So what do you believe in, Matt? Okay, so... So do you believe everyone should have the right to have their own choice, Matt? Okay, so this is a question for the atheist. I'm not saying you're an atheist, but if you believe that everyone has the right to their own choice, we get a, a wicked man who says, I want to slaughter people, okay? That, does he have the right to have his own choice? And that's completely equal. Okay, right, well this is, this is why I cannot, but can you live that out? You've got a wife, you love your wife. There's a man who says, I'm going to, you, uh, it's my choice to slaughter your wife. Uh, is he equally as right as you say, you I want to love... Yeah, but if he shoots your wife, okay, can you condemn him for what he's done? You can't condemn him for shooting your wife. Because he's got his own choice. This is the problem with atheism. Okay. So there's three, right. Okay, so. They're not Christian. Oxfam workers, they weren't Christians when they did that. No, they wouldn't. Jesus said, Jesus said, Jesus said. Jesus took it even further. Jesus said, do not commit adultery, okay? And he said, anyone who looks with us, I tell you, has committed adultery in the heart. But Jesus changes lives. I cannot. Listen, I cannot. Now that I know the Lord Jesus, I cannot watch pornography without feeling incredibly guilty. If I look at one with lust now, I will feel incredibly guilty for doing that, okay? Because God has changed has changed my life. Now, I'm going to put one final challenge out to the atheists. Now, one final challenge. What would you think of me now if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book? He's a fictional exist. Okay. What if I said to you, Harry Potter is a terrible book, but I've never read it before? What would you think of me then? You'd say read it first. You'd say read it first, and then make a judgment, okay? So don't say the Bible. Don't have to read anything to make a judgment. Don't. I can make a judgment on you for seeing you for a second, innit? I don't have to read a book to make a judgment on the book. I can say the book's shit and I haven't read it. I can also say the book's good and I haven't read it. But what would it make you though? But what would it make you? If you've not read it... make a point. The point doesn't exist. The point is, when you read it, you like it, that show. You think, yeah, I thought I liked it. I just can't live out your... I just cannot live out your worldview. You say to me, you say to me, everyone has the right to choice. But you just said I had a choice to do what I want. So if I want to preach to people, I've got choice, don't I? You didn't have a choice. I said to get on with what But you've just told me to leave everyone the F alone. You just said that, okay? So you're infringing your opinion on me, but you're saying that I should be tolerant of everyone else's. You're trying to turn arguments around because I agree with what you said, yeah. But at the end of the day, the only thing I have said is everyone has their own time to do their own beliefs, to have their own opinions. But that's your opinion. But what if my belief says I want to spread the message? Yeah. Well, this is this is what I believe in. Okay, I believe ten out of ten people die. Max, I believe ten out of ten people die. I believe that you all matter. You all have a soul that is really important. Believe in so what should we do? What should we do then? Keep so you're, it to yourself. But you just said to me, everybody, Max, you're not consistent. Okay, you're showing everyone now that you're not consistent. You said to me, everyone has a choice to have their own belief. But how do you know it doesn't exist? Okay, right, Max. Right, we've got a big crowd here. Okay, Max, tell me, tell me, Max. Max, tell me, tell me, can I speak? What is zero? Is zero? Let's get off zero, just zero. Let's get off of it, what are you doing? This is street entertainment. Street entertainment. Max, Max. Entertainment. Uh, I'm so entertained, I'm going to. OK, well, I'll just finish with that final argument. Can I just finish this point before Max said? What would you think of me if I said Harry Potter's a terrible book? What would you think? You'd say, 
Okay, what if I said Harry Potter is a terrible book but I've never read it before? What would you think of me then? You'd say, read it first and then make a judgment. So watch this. Don't say the Bible is a load of rubbish without reading it first. I'm going to give you a portion of the Bible for free, take it from my hand. Now you're going to have to be brave because there's a lot of people watching it. But if you want this book, read it and think it through for yourself. You will have to be brave to take this. May God bless you. Thank you. May God bless you. God bless you. Anyone else who wants one? Don't be embarrassed. Jesus wasn't embarrassed of you when he hung on a cross for sinners. If anyone wants one, please take it from my hand. May God richly bless you all and think about these things. There we go. God bless you. Thank you for your time.